as a Christian, and maybe specifically as a white male Christian, I am aware of a prominent voice in the world, or collection of voices in the world, that demands of me self-hatred. That is, because of other people who have looked like me in the past and have treated other people poorly, I am to have a level of hatred to myself because of that blood that runs through my veins. This is anti-Christ-like, anti-Christian. I cannot be a proper Christian if I am willfully engaging in any level of self-hatred. Jesus tells me to love the Lord my God and love my neighbor as myself. Jesus further says that insofar as I do something to the least of my brethren, I do it unto him. Jesus further says that insofar as I withhold mercy or love from others, that I am also withholding it from him, and that it will also be withheld from me. The degree to which I have self-hatred for my supposed inbuilt racism or sexism or whatever the case is, classism, that requires that I withhold love from myself. And one of the two commands that Jesus gives me is to love myself. Am I to listen to society around me that's demanding that I have some level of self-hatred? Or am I to listen to Jesus who loved me so much that he died on the cross for me and all he asks of me is to love God and love my neighbors as myself? The spirit of self-hatred is an anti-Christ spirit, an anti-Christian spirit. That is, it is anti-love. Anything that is anti-love is anti-Christ, for God is love. As a Christian, if someone tells you that you're racist no matter what you do, or that you're sexist no matter what you do, or that you're an oppressive force no matter what you do, or that you have evil within you no matter what you do, You are to rebuke that and and send it away from you. That that thought, that idea, that belief. Unless you think that person knows better than Jesus who died on the cross for you. Unless you think that person deserves to be listened to over Jesus who died on the cross for you. Be careful what you listen to and be careful of the seeds that you allow to be planted in your heart. They can appear to be loving on the surface, like a lot of the social justice and woke narrative out there appear to be loving on the surface. They appear to be about tolerance on the surface. But do not accept any teaching that tells you that you are less worthy than someone else, that you are more evil than someone else, simply because of some traits that you were born with, like your skin color, or your sex, nor because of your religion. Do not accept those teachings. 
Insofar as you accept those teachings, you must reject teachings of Christ. You cannot accept Jesus' love if you are accepting someone else's hate, including your own. Reject hate in all its forms. <laughs>